Hey guys, um, so today I will be doing a full application review of Search Pro. Um, Search Pro is 99 cents in the App Store and a free copy was provided to me for review by the developer. So guys, this is an interesting app. Basically, the premise is you can search anything, basically any website at all from inside the app. Um, you know, at first it kind of sounds like, well, that, I, I can just jump on Safari. But once you start to use it, it actually does get pretty useful. So guys, let me just go ahead and give you guys a brief demo. So let's go ahead and search something. Let's search um, Apple. Seems like something pretty simple to search. So you go ahead and punch it in the top bar. So then now all you have to do is select what where you want to search it. So um, six pre, there are six presets: Google, Yahoo, Wikipedia, Dictionary, YouTube, and Flickr. So I think for this one, let's go ahead and search it on Google. So we just go ahead and hit the Google button. Give it just a moment. You see this pulls up, and then there we go, guys. So we see. You know, there's talking about, you know, news results for Apple. You know, just the standard Google. So we have a little Google map. So, guys, it's the standard sort of, you know, Google search. It works really well. Um, but, guys, there's a lot more to the app than that. Um, of course, we, go, we could go ahead and search Wikipedia. And, guys, actually, this is the main, the main reason I'm just going to start using this app. Um, I have an, a Wikipedia app, and, of course, I like to search other stuff, too. So this is going to replace all that and put it into a really nice package. So guys, you know, you can go ahead and, of course, search YouTube videos, um, you can search Flickr for images, and of course, you can search dictionary, too, which is kind of nice, you know, to go ahead and, you know, search the meaning of a word or whatever. But guys, there's more to it than that, and if, this is where it really, you know, goes from being pretty decent to really good. So guys, if you see here, we can go ahead and flick over, and then you can go ahead and add your own sites, okay? Now, before I say anything else about this, I will let you know, guys, that this is somewhat glitchy right now. Um, sometimes the sites will at load and they won't work. Um, the icons will be messed up. It's not 100% functioning. Um, but the developer has told me personally that they are working on it. They've already submitted an update to Apple. So I wouldn't be surprised here in the next day or two they already had this all fixed. Um, so let me go ahead and show you guys what, how it works. So let's go ahead and hit it. Um, I've already added Zidric as a search. So here again, we're going to search Apple on Zidric. As you can see, guys, this is a custom site. This was not preloaded. I, I added, actually added this myself. As you can see, it works just fine. Um, it, like I said, occasionally it can be a little bit glitchy, but it's not bad. And of course, we can go ahead and browse and do everything we want. So guys, let me show you. There's a couple of really cool features. So we go ahead and hit down here. There are four themes, okay? So there's the one you, saw, you just saw is the default. You can scroll over. And there's a kind of a nice, cool blue theme. You can also go ahead and do this one's very similar to like you know, a Super Mario Brothers. Or we can go ahead and pick this one. This one's got my favorite. It's like a bookshelf. So just go ahead and hit X. And there we go, guys. You can see that. Um, now, you can add your own sites. And this is a pretty cool thing. So, guys, let's go ahead and add a site. It, now, like I said, it's a little bit glitchy right now. So let's go ahead and add Bing. So all I have to do is just punch in whatever site. And, guys, let me, let me say this again. Any site, practically, if, it, if a site has a search, it will work with Search Pro. I mean, I have not run into any issues with sites not working. Um, it's pretty good. So first you do is you just go ahead and hit Bing, and then it will go ahead and walk you through it. So basically you need to find the search engine and punch in PhoneBot. F-O-N-E-B-O-T. So let's go ahead and hit it. So PhoneBot. And then we hit Search. Now, guys, what this will do is will allow Search Pro to realize that that's where the search is. It automatically finds it. And then we're done. All we have to do is hit Add Engine. And then you go ahead and test it or hit next. Then it will go ahead, for Bing, it will go ahead and add a logo. I haven't really found any other websites that will do that. But yeah, guys, so let's just go ahead and just you know, name it something random. And there we go. So if we scroll over here, there, there you guys go. Now we can go ahead and search anything with Bing. Um, guys, Search Pro is a pretty cool application. Uh, you know, it's really handy for, you know, searching all kinds of stuff. For example, Wolfram Alpha, that's a really good thing. Um, I know I'm going to be using this for a lot. But guys, practically any search engine, all I have to do is just add it. Um, it's, some, some obviously will work better than others, but still it's a pretty solid application. Um, like I said, guys, there's 99 cents in the App Store. I recommend, guys, if you like what you see, definitely go pick it up. I mean, it's a pretty good app. It's not for everybody, but if you find yourself searching a lot, especially if you have, you know, maybe a couple of these apps, like I do, like I have a Wikipedia app, um, you know, search stuff on YouTube, and of course you're going to be able to, you know, maybe you have the Bing app. So, guys, if you want to, you know, consolidate and, you know, have a really nice interface and all that kind of good stuff, Search Pro is a pretty good app to get. Anyway guys, thanks for watching.